Well, we must realize the bottom line, the early Christians, the people of the Reformation, the founding father of this country faced and acted on, is the realization that if there is no place for disobeying the government, that government has been put in the place of the living God. In such a case, the government has been made a false god. If there is no place for disobeying a human government, that government has been made God. Caesar, under some name, thinking of the early church, has been put upon the final throne. The Bible's answer is no. Caesar is not to be put in the place of God. And we as Christians, in the name of the Lordship of Christ, in all of life, must so think and act on the appropriate level, and should always be on the appropriate level, we have lots of room to move yet with our cases, with our court cases, with the people we elect, all the things that we can do in this country. In the name of the Lordship of Christ and all of life, we must so think and act on the appropriate level. And if unhappily we come to that place, the appropriate level must also include a disobedience to the state. If you're not doing that and you haven't thought it through, Jesus is not really on the throne. God is not central. You have made a false God central. Christ must be the final Lord and not society and not Caesar. May I repeat the final sentence again? Christ must be the final Lord and not Caesar and not society.